mannequin heads of some sorts. Have a look at that. What are we dealing with here? It must be a hairstyling shop over there. I know this isn't Papa John's dumpster. Look at that. <laughs> T. Matt. Hello. My name is Matt. Uh, Vivian. <laughs> Chi. I know Chi is a popular, uh, fairly pricey brand of tools. I don't know, I don't know about these heads, but we're gonna. There's Deborah. Pretty blue eyes. And we're gonna have a look at those on eBay for sure. And Brianna. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the deal is with their hair. It looks like that hair has actually been cut. <laughs> I, ha I have a hard time believing those are disposable units because they're so nice. And I know mannequin heads like that, mannequin parts are not, they're not exactly cheap, but I don't know. Those actually are permanent hairs. It's not like a Velcro deal or nothing. Anyways, not quite sure what we're dealing with there. Put, uh, some cans in there if you want some cans. And uh, I'll have a look at those on eBay. And I'll tell you how much they're worth. I just went to Walmart and got some groceries and there's a humongous uh, motorcycle rally in my in the neighboring town. The town I drive to on the bike trail sometimes, you see me do. There's a, a massive, one of the biggest motorcycle rallies in the world. And, and I know a lot of people out there, some of my early subscribers, probably subscribed just for the fact I was on a motorcycle. So, I'm gonna go down there and give you give you motorcycle guys a little reward. But before I do that, I'm gonna run home and drop all those groceries off and stuff. That Rena Center dumpster is just right up here on the corner, so we're gonna go have a look at that first. Rena Center action. This is where I pulled out those uh, PlayStation Xbox One controllers not working. And uh, oh, big stainless steel pot. And I don't see anything else. But we're definitely gonna get in this one and have us have us look. Interested to see what's underneath this stuff down there. Uh Renna Center. We'll throw out these old used cups. Yeah, I like they rent stuff for parties and stuff too, you know. But uh so Dell computer box empty. Yeah. Little something something. That's that's a real nice piece of stainless though. That's a few pounds anyway. See, in the scrapyards where I live, they will not give you stainless steel prices if a magnet sticks to it. So, uh, see, look at it. Shoot. See, magnet sticks to that thing. Darn it. So now, the price of that goes all the way down to about 15 cents. And it's a situational thing. You know, if I was out riding a big long route and blah, 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 you know, I'd, I'd probably just leave this thing sitting for someone else or whatever, but, or actually that thing's almost nice enough to put on a street somewhere or on a curb. 
since I'm on my way home, I'll just go ahead and take it with me. I live about, oh shoot, maybe eight miles. Well, where I'm standing now is probably about nine miles away. Eight and a half miles away from the Mount Motorcycle Rally. And it's just nonstop, <laughs> just nonstop bikes going through here. All right, so I'm going down the highway, about to hit the bike trail. So I'm gonna have to explore these real quick. And these are, I know someone asked me a while back about construction dumpsters like this. You know, whether it's legal or whether they should do it or whatever, but. Um, yeah, you know, see, see how this is just all full of garbage? And there's nobody, you know, the people throwing this in here, they're not trying to make money off the metal that's in here. So, no one's really gonna have a problem with you snatching this stuff out. But uh, it is very dangerous. There's broken glass in here all over the place. And, you know, it's just, it's just dangerous, you know. I don't ever want you to think that this is safe to do because it's just it's it's garbage so there's no way around that fact so be careful let's see what we got over here uh, hmm You guys, you guys hear those motorcycles? They're all over the place. I know this camera's got a good microphone, so you should be able to hear it. There's some stuff right here, but I don't have my GoPro on. So I'm gonna shut the camera off and do some digging and see what I can find real quick. All right, I did some exploring real quick. And I thing I really found was this phone and it's actually a quite heavy phone and I think that one's probably got a decent board in it you know if you want to take the time to crack that open it's got gold pins and all that kind of stuff in there if that's your thing I just broke it open right there so that's one way to do it <laughs> That's how that's how a street scrap <laughs> that's how a street scrap will do it right there and that thing right there uh, that's aluminum pipe but see they threw all these bits of concrete chunks and stuff in here and it's real heavy and everything you're looking at is is almost impossible for someone to move. Uh, Look at those concrete blocks and stuff down in there. That's just a bunch of concrete they tore up. And the other end of this is buried under there. And I could cut that off if I wanted to. But I'm in a hurry to get down there and show the motorcycle people a little treat. So I'm just going to leave it right there. But that's the problem. You know, like, sometimes you see me checking dumpsters when they're almost completely empty. And you might say, why is he checking, you know, completely empty dumpsters? But it, it's extremely difficult manual labor to uh, do a dumpster like this. You know, it's just packed full of stuff. And, there, you know, there could be $50 or something right there, you know, down there somewhere. But, you know, I just, <laughs> it's just, you just can't go digging around like that. 
and actually shoot that didn't break open the way I thought it did but uh see I'm just more of a smasher and a trasher and that's how I'll get a circuit board out of something if I want to have a look at it you see what I'm saying you do stuff like that and it's just it's quick and done and I'm not a fan of sitting around and and doing stuff that takes an extremely long time to do and look at all the gold plate and and uh, chips and stuff on that bad boy right there look at that what do you think and uh oh it's just got gold plate all over it i saw that's actually a very nice board and uh that might be silver uh it might not be but i'll hang on to it you know and i made a video a while back about dogging uh dogging those, dogging those uh mylar seats out of keyboards and stuff and uh that's just because it takes such a long time and I've been doing this for so long that I just I just don't have the energy or I mean I, I, I can't quite put it into words but I just there's just some things with scrapping that you know that just that, that difficult uh, manual labor what's the word I'm looking for tedious tedious that's a good word. Yeah, you see how I just smashed that open real quick, just done. Throw all that plastic back in there. Take this little copper wire. Nice gold plate. Some nice chips. And uh, I'll probably have to get that screen off of there. But uh, that's just done, you know. Just <laughs> I tried to make a video a while back about smashing plastic electronics. And the problem with scrapping stuff sometimes is just like you know transformers and electric motors and that kind of stuff. You know, the smaller ones you're basically wasting your time. But there's some bigger transformers out there that you know might have five pounds of copper, ten pounds of copper. You know, the big twenty, thirty, forty pounders. You know, of course. If you want to, you know, of course you can scrap them, but, um, you know, like a half copper, half aluminum transformer, a modern one out of a microwave, you're looking at scrapping maybe 40, 45 of those a day just to make a uh, minimum wage over eight hours. And you can tinker with those numbers. Ouch, dang it. Um, there's actually a monitor right there with a little board staring at me, but I want to get down there and show you those motorcycles. There's a pair of sunglasses, see that? I see, as a dumpster diver, I just know that movement, when my wheels are spinning, that's how I make money. There's really no way around it. And if I stop, then the ability for me to make money takes a downturn real quick. Look at that right there. Look at that, what do you think? <laughs> That's an awesome pair of sunglasses. What kind are those? Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I want. Those are nice, what does that say? I can't even read it. Iron Man? Iron Man? glasses I'll take them and see that's the thing you know if you watch my videos I'm liable to find you know a $50 item two hours down the road or an hour down the road or whatever you know I, if I take the time to hammer on a transformer with a hammer and get the copper out you know it, that's no matter what that's an absolutely set amount of money. You know, there, there is no upside to that. That's just a guaranteed amount that you'll make doing that. Wow, look at that. You see that? Look at that. Can you see that? 
Wow. There's a little fire. It was without a doubt a campfire set up in there. If people are meaning well, I, I have absolutely no problem with them living around here. But there's a hat laying on the ground. That's kind of strange, you know. Sunglasses and a hat. Campfire in the woods. Huh. All right, now I'm gonna start scanning these woods for Sasquatch. <laughs> What's that right there? Sasquatch. <laughs> I see you looking at me. I see you. <laughs> I don't think that's a motorcycle. Not quite sure what you call it. <laughs>
think Batman's here somewhere. That's what I 